Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Wrath of the Lich King Classic and our Human Rogue's Joyous Journey. Thank you all for being here today, for clicking on the video and choosing to spend some of your time here with me. I really do appreciate it, and I hope you are doing well. Today we are starting things off in Hillsbred. We're going to head over to fight some Dagger Spine Naga. And I also have us in the queue for Scarlet Monastery Armory. Uh, which, I mean, there is a group here that needs a DPS, but they've been in the queue like that for a while, and I haven't heard anything, so... Maybe we're not quite the preferred level. Uh, but we'll hang out in the queue for that, and we'll see. I'm not really sure that there's a lot for us... ...in Armory, but... I ...I'd like to at least do it once. And I feel like it's probably pretty good experience as well. I'm probably going to start popping uh, evasion a little bit more and just using some of our cooldowns a little bit more regularly, even if I'm not fighting multiple enemies. It's at least going to have us take less damage, which is going to help us keep going from fight to fight, so... And I'm also going to go ahead and refresh poisons now so that I have a whole hour on it. That's going to be a lot less likely that I will forget to reapply them if I just give myself the whole hour right away. And we were invited to a group. Let's take a look. We have a Night Elf Warrior, a Night Elf Druid, and a Dwarf Hunter. Warrior and Druid could be taking heals. We'll take a look here in a second. We're not actually in the queue for anything. So I'm I'm curious. <laughs> to see what this is for, but I am assuming it's for the dungeon. Not sure why we're not in the queue. He says, is there a fifth? I can't invite anyone else. No, there's not a fifth. I don't know if maybe putting us in the queue would help him, but right now, from what I can see, we're not in the looking for group queue. I'm gonna need more than hay. Probably. Let's just drop, maybe we'll reform. We'll go ahead and put ourselves back in. Nobody seems to want to be very communicative. So... That'll work, but I also just want us to be in, in the looking for group tools so we have a chance to get other people. But we'll, we'll try to ride this out. I do need to make some progress on the quest though and stop getting so distracted. We will let them put this together, and we'll keep heading down the coast here, taking out these Naga.
do a little blade flurry here. So obviously, like, the biggest advice you guys gave me is to keep my poisons on for dungeons. That would really help. Uh, some other advice I read that I thought was interesting was maybe not using slice and dice, like not wasting our combo points on slice and dice. So maybe I'll build combo points and I'll open with a rupture. And then I'll just build combo points to do eviscerates, and we'll see if we do a little bit better uh, on damage in the dungeon if we're just not wasting our time with, uh, with slice and dice, I guess. The same might be true of soloing, I'm not sure. Um, I'm just always- I'm used to doing slice and dice and just kind of keeping slice and dice going, but... I guess maybe the theory is that maybe that isn't the way that we want to go, and we want to build up for eviscerates and just those big hits. Eventually this might happen, but part of me- okay, we are in the queue now, so we're not just wasting our time here. We're, we're properly listed, we're gonna get a group going eventually. And if I can finish this quest, that would be okay. Uh, I wouldn't be... Oh, these are... These are not the type we need. Let's head back uh, in the other direction. Yeah, I mean, building up to that four-point eviscerate seems pretty powerful. That might have been a shorter than like a two-point slice and dice duration even for the fight. Yeah, what do you guys think? Do we need slice and dice? With, as a combat rogue with an axe and a sword? Do we need slice and dice? Or am I just building up to that big, big eviscerate? Huh. Interesting. What I really like on classes is on classes where you can kind of try different things. Not even necessarily just different builds, but like different rotations and different priorities and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm finding the rogue really interesting in that aspect. There seem to be like lots of different builds and lots of different things you can do. And I'm sure that some of them are a lot more optimal than others. Obviously in WoW there's always like a best build for X, Y, or Z situation, right? But I like just kind of playing around with the with the rotation, with the spec, and experimenting. It's, it's kind of fun. And then I kind of get excited because I think that there's like two entirely different ways to do DPS on a rogue. Like the two different talent trees that I have not even experimented with and know nothing about. And I do look forward one day to trying those out. It'll probably be like at, at end level that we might do that. It's just really turned out to be uh, such a fun and interesting class, and 
it was really surprising for me because I, I didn't really think I was the, a rogue type of person, but the more I play the character, the more I feel like it really, it really adds a lot to the game for me. And I just enjoy it, just pure enjoyment of, of pressing the buttons. Even when I'm not being optimal and <laughs> not doing things 100% correctly, it still just feels good and feels fun to play. And like, I miss it when I'm, when I'm away from it. Like t having the last couple days of the holidays where I wasn't able to get on as much was like pretty difficult because I, I really love the character and I'm having a great time. Let's go, we're gonna go back that way, but now we have to deal with her. We need a few more shore runners. Kind of wish we could see this. Two more shore runners that will be done with this one. We might end up finishing this before we get a group together. Let's just clear some of these. Yeah, I like those big 440 crits. Those are a lot of fun. And we'll probably see a lot more of, of, of that kind of thing if we're stacking combo points for Eviscerate. Says that they can spawn out here. I don't see any of the shore runners. There's a dead one. Hmm. Lots of the sirens up, but not a lot of shore runners. Uh, where is everybody at? Let's have a look. Stendhal's Pond, Scarlet Monastery, Stranglethorn Vale, and we're gonna get a summon here any minute. So what I want to do first is I want to run back and actually uh, set the Hearthstone. You know the thing that I meant to do seven times that I never did. I want to go do that really quick before we get a summon out there. Yeah, about to summon. We were close to completing the quest. It would have been nice, but it, it wouldn't have gotten us the level, but it, it would have pushed us closer. We'll probably level in the run for sure, either way. I supply only the finest goods. There we go. Now we are good so that we can actually hearth back here when we're done and continue questing because we don't want to end up in Darkshire. Need something? That's not going to help us. Let's empty our bags a little bit here. We should be good to go. We, we haven't gotten a summon yet, which is a little bit strange, but... We could go get a repair. I don't think we need it, but... We might. Greetings. Yeah, we, we kind of did need it, actually. It, it turns out that repairing was probably the right thing to do. For the Alliance. Let's open all of our clams. Alright, 48 minutes left on the poison, so no matter what we're running here, I'm pretty sure it's going to be armory, but either way, we should be good. The poison should not run out on me. And here's our crew. We ended up with a warrior, a warlock, a druid, and a hunter. So, unfortunately, that means lots of competition for any potential leather that drops. Um, however, if a weapon happens to drop... Well, no, same thing there. We're, we're, we, 
we're not likely to get gear out of this run, so it's gonna be about getting kill experience and just having fun. We'll stand here and make sure that everybody can get in. Alright, so the guys in here start off as level 35. As long as they basically stay in that range, then we'll be good. I think we could probably hit anything okay up to like level 37. Keeping track of which box you've opened. Trying to be a useful rogue. It's not a very exciting set of things going on, but... 
we got a little bit of lock picking skill. Uh, and we are waiting. We are waiting on somebody. Who was my person? Let's see. I like the female Night Elf Warrior. I think that's really cool and unique. You don't see a lot of Night Elf Warriors, and you definitely don't see a lot of female Night Elf Warriors. It's cool. Looks like we left somebody back here. We do need a hat. We, we need a hat pretty badly. That is true. Don't know if we're going to get one in here. Probably not. But perhaps I'll have to look on the auction house. Alright, so we've done the dungeon for a little while without using Slice and Dice at all. 
And we, we've kind of got a feel for what, what kind of damage we're doing. Very mediocre damage, as we might expect, with my skill level and the lack of AoE. So now, though, we're going to go back to using some Slice and Dice, and we'll, we'll see if things improve or if they get worse. Just kind of try to feel it out without getting too analytical about it. I don't want to get down into, like, the precise numbers, but I do want to be able to get, like, a feel for it. Yeah, we're just going to vanish all that. I, I guess I got a little too close. Yeah, we've got more company here. Well, that was fun. I feel like after a minute we were all basically fighting our own enemies. That's a lot of agility. Hmm. That would be a lot of agility. Let's clean up the runners. We can at least do that for the group.
This warlock is doing a, a surprising amount of damage. He must be multi dotting like every pull. It's pretty fun. That was a questionable fear. That was a very questionable fear. We have Vanish up, so before this gets too bad, we will Vanish. We'll kill everything that we can, uh, just to go as long as we can, but eventually this is gonna maybe end up in a Vanish scenario. At this rate though, we might get Blade Flurry back off cooldown this pull. I don't know if she can pull many more, but I feel like she could get down there. She could probably pull the end of the hallway, so I'm gonna kill her off. We'll do the same thing with this one. We'll kind of play clean up here. And we'll try to make sure that they don't get to this other pack. Because they're, they're, they're trying to, it feels like. Yeah, they're all dying back here in the corner. Who else do we have? Those are, These guys are fine to run around out here. That was exciting. I thought we were going to go down there for a moment. And never give up, never surrender. And all that. It's gonna take a while for them to recover their mana from that one. So I guess in a dungeon, I, I, I probably need to be opening with Geralt for the extra damage and not... Uh, not Cheap Shot, right? Even though Cheap Shot does give the two combo points, which is nice to have right off the bat.
All right, here we go. Boss time. Uh, the only boss. Any second now we'll pull him. He's level 37, so we should be able to hit him. Ah, I've been waiting for a real challenge. Didn't he used to move around with the whirlwind? Now he stays in place. Life, give me strength. Fades of light. <laughs> Is that all? That's a wasted blade flurry. There we go, not bad on the single target. The male legs, I think all he drops is male stuff and then weapons for like warriors and paladins. I, I don't even think he has a loot table that includes anything that we could use. Uh, do we need the cathedral key? Or do we just, I think maybe the scarlet key gets us into cathedral and armory, right? We don't need another key. And we didn't have any quests in here yet, so I haven't done the chains that lead into the quest. So we don't have those. And yeah, guys, I think I'm going to end this one here. It seems like a decent place to do that. And next time we will continue with our questing over in South Shore. And, you know, maybe we'll run another dungeon. I don't know how many more times I want to run the... Uh, Scarlet Monastery stuff. But we'll at least run them all once, and we're, we're not within range for Cathedral yet. Still got a few levels to go for that one. There's other dungeons we could run, but I feel like they're more accessible by the Horde side. Less so by the Alliance, like Razor Fen Downs would be great, but yeah. Might be a little difficult for us to get over there unless we have an easy boat to ratchet. I'd have to research and see if maybe... Maybe in Wrath we got easy transport over to ratchet from somewhere. That would make it actually really simple to do that one. Uh, and I'll have a look at that and we'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for being here. I am having a ton of fun on the Rogue. I'm glad to be back to a point where I can play more each day. It's going to be good. It has been good. And it's been good because of you guys uh, showing up every day, leaving the comments and spending your time here with me. I really do appreciate you guys. Hope you have a nice holidays if it was a holiday time for you. Either way, hope you guys are doing well, and I just want you to know that I really do appreciate you. So take care of yourselves out there, and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again sometime very soon. Bye for now.